So I forgot to show you guys when I actually got this in the mail yesterday, but I ordered me another um Tom Ford fragrance, and this one's the one of the ones in the blue bottle, um Sol de Pos. I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> it's super cute. I'm so in love with these blue bottles, and then I just wanted to compare. So this one I already had for a little bit now but the color is a little bit different but very close this one's a little bit more teal this one's a little more blue and if you guys don't know this whole blue line they kind of kind of smell similar as in they all have like an aqua fresh summery type of scent to them um but yeah i love them both this one is definitely a lot more floral than this one but this one still has a slight floral scent but this one you can definitely smell the floral a lot more so yeah i'm so excited about this i love these bottles and I always keep the packaging for the Tom Ford scents because, yeah, never throwing it away. I can't decide either if I want to, like, store them like this or store them like this or take it all the way out or store it like this. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that is what I picked up recently to add to my fragrance collection. Okay, guys, this is my current situation. So, I just had to take all my shoes out of the boxes because I am officially going to put a shelf um, up for my shoes. So, I was at Ikea the other day and they didn't have it in stock and then today I went back, they had a ton in stock. So, I picked up just a double shelf for now. Um, you could always add another shelf later, but don't mind all this because this is all stuff that needs to go to the Philippines, but yeah, so now I need to basically flatten all of these boxes so I can put them in the recycling. So these are where all the shoes are. So I moved them into this other room so that it can be easier to organize them because I'm just going to get rid of all the boxes anyway, except for like these boxes where like those boxes, I'm going to keep them. Obviously, I'm not going to throw that away. Um, Oops, my phone's gonna die. This box right here is a pair of Air Forces. I'm gonna throw this box away because it's nothing special. And then my Versace slides and my Gucci um, shoes. I'm gonna keep the boxes for that. But everything else, we are going to throw the boxes away. So yeah, that is my current situation. So these are the two Billy bookcases from Ikea and that is what we're using and yeah there's more shoes over here, more shoes over there, can't wait. Hey guys, I know I look crazy right now. Um, I got my wisdom teeth pulled out yesterday, so my mouth is still kind of sore. I can barely eat. I tried to eat some eggs, and I could barely eat that. Like, basically, I've been on a liquid diet. But I wanted to show you guys. I ordered um from this website that it's like they sell like all skincare stuff. But I finally got a Clarisonic. Like, I know, right? And if you guys didn't know, Clarisonic actually went out of business already. And this was on sale. So, I got the Clarisonic um, Mia Smart. And 
on their website. It came in like a kit. Let's get all this out first. So, okay, so this is the actual Clarisonic, and then in the kit, it came with two skincare products. This one is the Pore Blemish Cleanser. And this is the Radiance Foaming Milk Cleanser. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. I didn't even know Clarisonic actually had skincare. And I used to work at Ulta like years ago when I first graduated high school. And they used to have Clarisonic in there. And I don't know why I never bought it. Because, I mean, it wasn't cheap. It's not cheap, actually. Um... It's still not cheap, even though that they went out of business already. But luckily, I did get this on sale with the um, brush heads. So I got three brush heads. This one is the Sonic Awakening Eye Massager. And there was another kit that I was originally going to get first, but they sold out of it. Uh, the other kit that I was going to get first did not have this, but it came with two other brush heads and the other one that i got is the sensitive brush head Wait, let me show you guys what these look like and on here it says that you're supposed to replace them every three months which is i guess not bad but even the brush heads are not cheap at all so that's what it looks like I don't even know how to take it has a cover on it but I don't know how to take it off and then let's see this one is kind of weird oh my god so this one is that eye massager looks like that I think it's supposed to be like that hopefully but yeah so, ooh, I like that it's purple oh my god I'm terrible <laughs> ah. okay and the last brush head is this one which is the oh my god this one just came off like without even me trying to take it off this one is the radiance brush head so it looks like that my hands are so dry oh my gosh But I wonder if you only need to replace it every three months if you're using it every single day. Because I don't think, I don't know, maybe I will use it every day. But I feel like if you're wearing makeup, then yeah, it's good to use it every day. But if you, like I haven't worn makeup and I don't even know how long. I feel like you don't need to place it that often okay so this is the actual device I should have got my box cutter postcard from Clarisonic and then it just hangs out on there because you can download their app and attach it to your phone well not attach it to your phone but download the app and connect it to the product now this is just the instructions on here 
So yeah, basically you can pair it with your phone. And the only thing is that I was kind of didn't like about this is the charger is a USB charger. So most people do not have USB chargers in their bathroom. So that's kind of annoying, but whatever. And then this is what it looks like. And then in the box, it came with... Wait, that's crazy. I didn't even know it came with this. Wow, I didn't even know it came with this. I was going to order it, too. Because this is like a facial. It's kind of like the eye thing, but it's for your entire face. But look, it's so pretty. Let's try it. Yeah, that's so crazy. I have no idea it came with this other brush head. I have no idea how to use this. I should probably read the directions, but I don't want to. I don't know. No, it's definitely not how it goes. What the hell? Is that? I thought it was supposed to spin. I'm so confused. I don't think I'm screwing this on right. Y'all, what the hell? Is it supposed to be like this? I don't know. we'll see hey guys so i haven't vlogged in a few days because i got my wisdom teeth removed a few days ago and just today like i've been feeling better this side kind of hurts just a little bit but yeah it's definitely not as bad as the first day but i just wanted to show you guys the progress of these shells that i've been working on so i've been to ikea a few times already so originally i was just gonna use two and then i decided three and so one can be in the middle um but yeah i had to go to ikea a few times because one of the cabinets punctured all the way through so i had to return it and pick up a new one and also these billy bookcases from ikea are always out of stock and when they come in stock they will be out of stock in a few hours like they don't stay in the store it's crazy um and then also the shelves guys the shelves are expensive for no reason i don't know why and the wood and the glass shelves are the same price they're 15 dollars each which is ridiculous so if you're using it for books the shelves that come with it are perfect but if you want to use it for shoes you're gonna need extra shelves and they are not cheap at all but i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like i actually still need a few more shelves i need one more glass shelves but they were out of stock and then i need a few more well, actually i don't know yet if i'm gonna keep the space like that or add another shelf in between but in the meantime that's how it's gonna be and then up here 
the top obviously got put on wrong but i was just gonna cover these with those like little lights i think it'll be cute and then i'm also gonna add another glass shelf up here so that it doesn't look so much space on the top and then i decided i rearranged this a few times but i decided that i'm just gonna have the middle all glass and have my fragrances up there so this is what they look like right now so cute but yeah i'm so glad i did this um even though the shelves are expensive the extra ones this is still a pretty reasonable priced option if you need storage for shoes fragrances books whatever so yeah this is the billy bookcase from ikea and then um up there is boxes i was gonna get the there's one that's a little bit taller than this one but i like it like this and then you can still get the attachments anyway if you decide later on that you want the shelf to go up higher but yeah i'm loving it so far and ikea is so busy i'm waiting for somebody to help us so we can see if they have this shelf somewhere else because i don't want to come back here